Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome back, family. I am always excited when the Lord gives me a word for someone because God's word goes out to deliver, to inform, to transform, to guide, and to direct us. Where the word of God is, there is light. And anyone who walks in light will never know darkness. Darkness cannot exist where there is light. The word of God is light. And where God gives his word, we receive it with gladness. Because light is coming upon us. Hallelujah. I received this word while I was following up a prophetic session. And this word dropped in my spirit. There is someone listening to me now. There is a Delilah in your circle. There is a Delilah in your circle. Delilah represents a spy. Delilah represents someone who is with you, pretending to be there for you, pretending to be for your good. But that person is actually a spy. And that person is giving information to people who want to destroy you. That is exactly what Delilah did to Samson. The Bible says Delilah asked Samson for the source of his strength. Not because she wanted to help him harness that strength, but because she wanted to give the information to the same people who wanted to kill Samson. There is a Delilah in your circle. This person that this word is for. Recently you noticed that each time you have a plan, before you execute the plan, people stop you. Something happened and it stops. And you are wondering to yourself, how did these people know about this information? You have had personal, you know, uh, conversations with people, conversations that you don't want other people to hear. But before you know it, you're hearing this as rumors in different places, and you don't even know where, you don't even know how the information leaked out. There is a Delilah in your circle. Be very, very careful. There is an informant around you. This informant is hearing what you want to do and the things that you want to say and is relating it to the calm of the enemy. Relating it to people who are not for you. People who are seeking your downfall. As you listen to this word now, recheck your circle. Recheck the people that you have been talking with and be very careful. Let the Holy Spirit guide you in Jesus' name. If you have not given, if you have not given your life to Christ or if you are at that position, where you feel like your relationship with Jesus has been strained and if Jesus comes now you're not even sure if you're going to make heaven please make this prayer with me make this salvation prayer with me say Lord Jesus I come before you today I confess that I am a sinner I am willing to let go and to follow you fully please Lord wipe my name from the book of death write my name in the book of life Today, I accept you, Jesus, as the Lord and personal Savior of my life. I rededicate my life to you. I dedicate my life to you today, from today, henceforth, in the name of Jesus. If you just made that prayer, congratulations, you are born again. You have rededicated your life to Christ. You have dedicated your life to Christ, no matter the situation where you were in. If you need help in your Christian work, send me a mail. I will be happy to assist you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for this session. May your name be glorified always in Jesus' name. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and may he be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly on you and give you his peace. Shalom.